powder. Loose pressed pearls. As mentioned, powders generally come in loose pearls or pressed forms. And what they do is they help minimize imperfections and help blend any harsh edges on the face. Powder can also absorb any excess sebum secretions throughout the day and it sets your makeup and foundation to give it a longer lasting hold. It also enhances all skin tones with a beautiful invisible veil. So let's take a look at loose powder and pearls and the application of. Now of course it can be used alone or on top of your foundation to set it. It's a lot finer than your pressed powders and the way you apply it is with a large powder brush but make sure that you flick off any excess powder before applying it to your face. There just needs to be enough powder on there to buff your face. The lighter and darker shades in these powders can also be used to contour the face. The other thing to remember is when you've finished with your loose powder, make sure that your last movement is in a downward stroke on the face. Pressed powders. Of course they give more coverage, therefore they are more matte. They are also more convenient to carry around because they are compact. The other thing I'd like to add is that some of them um, that you might purchase have a film in between the powder and the puff that may come with it. If that's the case, make sure you keep that film because what it does, it helps protect your powder from any oils that may be on your puff being transferred to the powder. So always keep that film in between your powder and puff. To achieve a sheerer, co sheerer coverage of this powder, you can also use a large powder brush with it, or it can be used directly over moisturized skin in place of your foundation to give your complexion a more even tone and texture. Now, translucent shades are perfect to touch up your makeup throughout the day without any color buildup. So sometimes you might get your pressed powder that's quite coloured and if you were to use that throughout the, throughout the day to touch up you may get colour build up. That's why if you're going to touch up your powder throughout the day it really is best that you choose a translucent shade.